<clears throat> Blue Gill. <laughs> That's the song. What is up, y'all? We are at a place today. One of you guys told me about this is going to be really cool, man. I think that this possibly could be one of the biggest tackle shops. It's not the, the world's biggest freaking tackle shop. It's like a big outdoor store that's locally owned. Kind of like Cabela's, um, but I guess it's locally owned. And it's like a big landmark out here. I guess a lot of people know about it. A lot of people come to it. We're gonna be going in there, checking it out. I have to buy some fishing stuff and we also have some other stuff we want to check out as well. Yeah, man, let me stop talking. Let's go check this out here for ourselves. This is called the Kittery Trading Post here in Maine. Let's get in there. Someone tell me how this jacket, it's $598. It's like a 600 freaking dollar jacket, dude. All right, so it is pretty crowded in here. Oh yeah, should we go first? Follow the fish, ooh, big sailfish. Holy jeez, that's a lot of stuff, dude. Oh my God, it keeps going. Bro, I'm not even joking. This is like the biggest freaking tackle. Uh, what do you even call this floor? Like it just keeps going. This is a solar section. Yeah, no, this is like really cool. Got a bunch of divas. The van stalls down there. Whew. If I did a lot of surf casting, man, probably would invest in one of them. Just so expensive. All right, here's one of the sections I want to check out. Salt water. Um. Hmm. It's like extensive too. Like it's not just saltwater baits. It's like every single type of popper, hard bait. Where are the, it says rockfish candy. I got 32 ounces. That. Oh my gosh. I almost dropped it. That's like a, I guess these are for trolling, I think. There's a lot. Oh, look at that. Castmaster with like a little wiener behind it. Holy crap. Dude, look at some of these big baits. 1999, the Herring, the DML Viper Series of uh, Daddy Mac. Look how shiny that is. I think it's freaking huge. It's only for 20 bucks, too. Look at these. Oh, wow. It's wiggly. What is that? Oh. Kelsey, should I get that? It's a big freaking eel. It's like the snake lord, but it's like an eel. Yeah, I know. For sure, I'd probably lose it. They have a big black one, too. I kind of want to get that. $21, though. For something I know I'd probably lose. Oh, my gosh. I want to get that. This is really cool. It's probably like the most extensive saltwater hard base, especially section I've ever seen. Okay, here we go. This is a section probably gonna spend some money. So $13.99, I lost a couple of these the other day, but this, I believe this is the one, right? Let me see. Okay, no, actually, this is the sinking. We had the floating. Boom. This was the lure we were throwing the other day on those rocks. This one is in way better condition. I was getting it all banged up, but uh, we lost either one or two of these. But these freaking Daiwa SP minnows, man, are the freaking truth. We might cop. Oh, dude, it's dusty. I think it's been here for a little while. Um, I don't know. Somebody called this some kind of like chicken scratch color or something before. I think it's actually yellow pearl. I might grab both of these, honestly. Dusty, though. Sheesh. This is the section set we were kind of using. We were catching Pollock. We've got the uh, diamond jigs and sabikis and stuff. Dude, there's just way too much freaking, look at that. $18, that is a big, big lure. I don't know, too many poppers and stuff. I do actually want to see if they have, that is a big mama. Look how big these freaking pencil poppers are right here too. Compared to these Daiwa freaking SP minnows, that thing is giant, dude. Like, uh, One of these dudes. 
Sheesh. That's a big boy. He's kind of like a gobbler, too. You see that? Or is that like a beard? Gobbler. That thing's freaking thick, dude. Ooh. You think it's as good or better than Cabela's? That one looks good. Got birthday cake. Yeah. Got chocolate. Yeah. M&M. Yeah. Holy crap. Let me just say that might have been the best store I have ever been to of my entire life. That place was, it literally was four floors. It had everything you could ever want. Like the fishing section, I didn't talk like way too much in there, but it, it was just so, it was like dead silent in there, but uh, they had like everything I could want for saltwater, freshwater. It was a giant fishing section. Not as many like rods and rails and stuff, but just as far as the baits go, just complete craziness. And then and all the other sections, the outdoor, they had an RV section, a dog section, every single thing you could think of outdoor, camping, tents, everything. I give that uh, five thumbs up. Freaking amazing store. Super cool. Uh, I'm, I'm happy we went to that. It was like an hour out of the way, but that was cool. All right, what is up, y'all? Welcome to Rhode Island. This is my first time ever in Rhode Island. It's a bit windy here today. <laughs> it's like super gusting, but this is gonna be our first time ever fishing Rhode Island. I found uh, on Google Maps, there's some people actually fishing out here. It's just pretty good looking. There's like a pretty longish jetty out here. There's a beach over here. There's a lighthouse. It's my truck. And uh, over here, there's a nice porta potty action. Behind that, there's some pretty cool freaking houses. Like, look at that. They have like a Captain Jack Sparrow crow's nest. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, there it is. I was changing my GoPro battery. That thing flew by. It's like a freaking crazy looking butterfly. It's like one of the monarchs. So, today, yet again, we're out here. Oh wow, dude, that is so freaking clear. Hold on a second. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that water, it's like freaking Bermuda, man. But yet again, we're out here at the salt water. You guys saw we went to that giant freaking store, which is just amazing, like the best store ever. And uh, yeah, we're out here today at the salt water. We have bucktail on we actually filmed something uh, at the last spot we were at I think it was in Massachusetts but that didn't I, I, I didn't catch anything so might as well pick up here the tide's coming in we're actually gonna head out to the end of this jetty this looks like it could either be good or just not good as I said it's very freaking windy today I don't know if these people what they're fishing for either I know tog is like a big thing people are targeting at this time of year wow look at these look at that can you see those big waves coming in there's some of the biggest waves I've seen in a while. Not only is it windy too though, but it is like actually chilly. Last night it got down into the 30s and uh, it's like not very warm today. Anything going on? Not here. Yeah. Okay. So those people have some lures on. Look like for some striped bass. Down here it looks like these people are fishing possibly for some stripers as well. I'm not exactly sure. So this is like a very southern tip point-ish kind of Rhode Island. By the way, this is the smallest state in the United States. It's pretty interesting because I'm, I'm from Delaware, which is already really freaking small and this is even smaller. So that's the thing. But, yeah man, the migration of striped bass, it should be around this area by the time I'm here. Uh, it it might have passed a little bit, but there still should be some fish in the area as well as some residential fish. I just want to catch a fish. I think I'm gonna start right here actually. These rocks look a little sketchy. I'm sure this tide comes up pretty far. Ooh. Okay, so if you guys have been watching the videos recently, I am not the biggest bucktailer. Like, I, I'm, I don't really throw these lures that much. The other day, we caught some fish on it, and uh, I actually ended up accidentally losing my bucktail, but now we have another one from that giant store. So, are we throwing one of these around? Just kind of jigging around, see if anything's up. Well, there's a bunch of birds over there. We're gonna be keeping our eye out on birds. Those are like, I don't know what the heck kind of birds those are. Yeah, man, this is a one ounce bucktail. We're just gonna kind of let it get to the bottom, bounce it up and down. Hopefully run into some kind of fish. We're just gonna kind of be needing to look around, man. It's a brand new spot. It's a brand new area, but just like the other jetties we've been fishing, man. You just gotta stay on the lookout. For birds, fish busting, for bait busting. It's definitely pretty weedy down there. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, we're just gonna give this a shot. Just cast around. Whoa. Some big boats out there. 
It's a really, really big boat all the way out there. I don't know, man. This is just, it's one of them days where you come out to the salt water, anything can happen, you know? Oh, holy. It's like Seagull City. <laughs> just walk down pretty much this whole jetty. I just have a feeling that all the way down at the end here, it's gonna be pretty good. Now the tide is coming in, so this could be viewed as a little bit sketch. But I think we won't spend too much time and then get back to some areas that shouldn't. Like, I think this might go underwater when the tide's coming in pretty good. Yeah, we don't really want to be uh, stranded. <laughs> Did not prepare for that. So today we're out here in Rhode Island yet again. This place I found on Google Maps. Still looking for our first Rhode Island fish. Whew. All right, y'all. So we are out here again. We're going to a different spot in Rhode Island. Still looking for our first Rhode Island fish. Yesterday when you guys saw we went out, we kind of pounded that jetty for a while. Just walking back and forth. But uh, oh, this spot looks cool. But yeah, it was just so windy and uh, nothing really ever ended up happening. I didn't see anybody catch anything that day. This is like a place where there's a lot of trails and stuff. Wow. So freaking beautiful. All right, let's do some rock climbing. Okay, so this is definitely a place where people tog. There are so many crab claws on the freaking, let me see real quick. Yeah, I wanna do some togging. Maybe we should try out here. This actually looks pretty freaking good. Let me know if you guys wanna see a togging video. We've tried a lot in Delaware. I've never actually caught a keeper tog. I've caught some big ones in Delaware that would have been keepers, like in New Jersey and stuff. Oh my gosh, that rock was not sturdy. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. Probably could have just taken this trail. Wait, can we even get, how do we get down here, man? This is so confusing, there's so many trails. Oh wow, that water's clear. Hey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I had no clue this was gonna be like this. I thought you'd just walk out to it. Okay, I officially got no clue how we're getting back. Bro, look at this. Oh, whoa. Dude, there's so many bait fish in there. Look at that, can you guys see that in this little tide pool? All right. Welcome to the fishing spot. So, what we have tied on here, a tiny little swim bait. Wow, look at this, dude. This is so cool. I'm gonna throw this around a little bit. We got a bunch of lures and stuff. Whew, it's a beautiful day out here though, man. It's like actually 70s. It's been kind of chilly the past couple days. But it's like toasty, man. That looks so good in this water. So we're just gonna kind of be fishing around all these rocks, all this structure. I think the tide should be kind of coming in a little bit here. Might need to put a bigger lure on. The wind's kind of taking it. It's like such a pretty day though, man. This lady too passed me uh, before I went on the trail. She was like zooming her e-bike. I, I, dude. I need an e-bike. Kelsey and I have been talking about getting them for a while. If you guys don't know, it's just like a bike that I guess helps you pedal. <laughs> it's like a lazy person's bike. Or I guess if you're going far distances or you know, if you're gonna be climbing like this, so you don't wanna use all your strength on the bicycle. They're just so cool, man. You can ride them on the beaches, on trails. Really, anyway, I, I, dude, if you guys know any good e-bike brands, let me know down in the comments below. Yeah, we're kind of going to be tossing this little dude around here. There could be a lot of different things, man. This bait looks so good. I kind of want to get down to that, but I do not have my corkers on, so probably won't be doing that. Okay, okay. We need something bigger. There's some stuff out a little bit further. We need something bigger ASAP. Where did that just go? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Where'd that go? You guys probably might not have seen that. Probably didn't on the GoPro. But just like a little bit out of casting range with that little thing I was throwing. There was some uh, bait getting blown up on. 
I was not prepared, man. All right, okay, all right. So, we are in this position now, perched on our rock. I tried to put on a, uh, a hair jig, like a, um, uh, what's it called, bucktail. It was a one ounce bucktail. I just cannot throw it. This wind is kind of whipping in from this way. I don't know what those birds are doing going that way. There's a bunch of them going that way. I think there's fish here, man. I don't know where they are. It's so tough because it's like, you can see white caps, but like, there's also disturbances of fish feeding. So it's kind of like, which one is, you know, like the wind and the waves and which one is the fish? But yeah, basically I ended up putting on a spoon. This is a, I don't even know how big this is. It's like a one and a half maybe ounce spoon. Just a uh, cast master. Dude, these things, you can freaking fling them. So if I see what I'm hoping to see, what we're gonna see, uh, just like a big bust in a bait, hopefully we can reach it with this. Dude, right out in front of me. It's going off. Come on, that's like right in a good area too. Oh, I wanna jump down on this other rock. I don't know if it's a good idea. They were literally just smacking some bait right in front of me. <sighs> Should we do it? Oh, let's reel this back in real quick. Come on, man. Oh my gosh, that was so many of them too. I don't know what these fish are. They could be striper, they could be anything. Oh, come on. Dude, I can slam the spoon out there. Come on. Please, please, please. That is crazy. I mean, literally. Maybe they're over here to the left a little bit. Literally nothing. Then out of nowhere, boom, boom, boom smacking the surface they're chasing bait match the hatch kind of lure to be thrown this thing i mean especially with the white little bucktail on the back when it just it darts side to side it just looks like bait fish fleeing well, we know there's definitely fish around and those fish weren't just being fish i mean they were literally exploding like things were clapping the water See now, this is where I can use a bike. Get on. I mean, you can see just water, water, water. Got a nice trail. Just be zooming, man. Kind of figured, I mean, I kept seeing fish kind of pop up in that spot. They might just be circling around here. I don't know what they are, but uh, instead of just waiting for something to happen, we're gonna go make something happen. Okay, so I moved down a little bit because I saw this. I'll pop it up on the screen right here. It's just a giant freaking swarm of birds. I don't know what kind of fish are under them, but there's a lot of birds and there's probably a lot of fish, a lot of bait fish. They are way out there though. Like way, way, way. You guys probably cannot even see them on the GoPro. So I've just kind of been chilling here for like five, 10 minutes. I'm like, maybe they'll come this way, okay? Maybe, hopefully. Oh, there's so many birds. I uh, want to check out another spot, but it's like, do I leave the, the fish? See, what could happen is that that like pod of fish could move all that bait over here, which move all the birds over here. And within hopefully casting distance, um, I don't know. That's like best case scenario. <sighs> there's so many birds, dude. Oh, rip to that strat. I was sitting there watching the birds and this guy just drove his big old boat straight through it. All the birds and fish and everything just dispersed and thought like maybe they'll come towards me, but no. So trying to figure out how to get back to the car. I, I got another spot in mind, man. All right, so 
We fished, like literally you guys didn't even see this, but I fished for probably four or five days that did not actually account to any freaking fish, man. We were in Massachusetts. Uh, we were in the lower half of Maine for a little while. Bunch of saltwater stuff, and that's just how fishing goes, and especially saltwater fishing, and especially saltwater fishing from shore or rock or jetty. Um, sometimes you just have to get lucky and hope the fish get to you. But I think, so here's the thing, right? I didn't know this, but when I was in Maine, uh, a couple videos ago, I'll pop the video up on the screen right here. That video, I, I saw some fish busting, and in this video too, you know, when we were in Massachusetts, or no, it was Rhode Island. I, I can't even, I don't know what I'm talking about, but they were fish busting, and they'd kind of bust for a little bit. Kind of sounds weird, but they would like kind of pop up for a little bit chasing bait fish, and then I, I wouldn't see them for a minute or a couple minutes or something, and then they'd be out there, and they'd be out there. I think those were Albies. I think that um, I, I'm probably was throwing the wrong things. I mean, I, I got lucky I was throwing that spoon. If I would've just worked it a little faster, maybe we could've connected, but I think that those were Albies or some other smaller pelagic kind of fish. And then, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that those birds that were all feeding, uh, you guys saw the clip. That was definitely a big school of stripers, I believe. But yeah, man, it is a freaking beautiful day. I, I'm in Delaware now. Uh, we'll talk about this probably in the next video. Yeah, I'm in freaking Delaware, dude. Really enjoyed the whole fall um, northeast swing. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments below. I know the views haven't been like super crazy, but I think YouTube's just being weird right now. I don't know. I think these videos are some of the best videos ever, especially the fishing stuff. It's been like some of the best fishing of the whole channel, man. There's really good days. Thank you so much for watching this video, though. We got a lot of stuff planned. I'm telling you guys, just stay tuned. Really exciting stuff coming in the near future. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I like to say, man, let's keep this rolling. See you next video. You wanna know just where